All right, 217 Winter Frost. Just came back on the market yesterday. Uh, off the top of my head, I want to say the listing price was 339. I uh, will call it 340. And uh, it went under contract with multiple offers early. Show you the street here. Um, looked like it was an escrow for uh, over 40, 45 days, something like that. Um, the buyer could not obtain financing and the deal fell apart. So, looking at the, the roof, it looks good. It's not brand new. Uh, doesn't look bad. You can see a jet, they can't see it in the camera. You can hear it fly by, we're not super far from the Air Force Base. Um, not super loud. I mean, it's loud, you can hear it, but I don't think we'd be able to hear it inside. It definitely don't, doesn't set off alarm bells for me. I'm gonna head on in and see the house. Just in the front door here, the dining room to the left. Wood floors, it's a laminate. Looks nice though. Have a nook here. Show you all the way up. We got a little recessed light in front of it. I like the black doors. There is a big closet. Those are leaf on the floor, those are leaves for their dining table. Still in the closet. I'm gonna walk into the living room. High ceilings. It's got to be 18, 20 feet. It's a big ceiling fan. It's a very cool fan. Good size living room. Built-ins. We're going to spin into the eating kitchen. Farmhouse sink. Walk over here into the laundry room. Just off the kitchen. Um, it is not a huge room. Some storage up there, but it's it's not bad. I have the, the door doesn't open any farther than that because it hits the, the rod. If you put a shorter rod, you can open the door farther. But you can come in here and get into the washer and dryer without problem. Over the pantry here. Lots of storage. Good sized pantry. There's the dining room we saw when we first came in. Here we're going to make our way down the hall. Storage on the left. Like a linen closet. And into the garage. Couple little steps down into the garage. Storage on the right. We've got racks. It looks like for bicycles and hooks on the ceiling for bicycles and more storage here, water softener. They come down into a full bathroom. Didn't mean to get my toes in that picture. Sorry about that. Super casual today. Trying to make sure. And then this is a guest suite. I'm guessing this would be the mother-in-law suite. Show the closet. 
decent size for a, a, a guest room. Then we're gonna out the French doors in the guest room into a covered patio. Have a that's an air conditioner. I imagine they'll probably take them with that take that with them, but it's probably a good fit. This is, room feels really new. The wood looks brand new, it smells new. You can see the pond and the little stream in the backyard. So here we'll hit the backyard here in a minute. I'm gonna go through the rest of the house first. There's also a doggy door on the door into the backyard from this room. Then up the stairs we go. Right. So from the top of the stairs there's a loft to the left. Do the full pan in the hallway. Carpet all upstairs. I'm gonna walk this way into the master bedroom. And the whole room. It's high ceilings in this room. They're probably nine foot into the master bath. A garden tub. Stand up shower. The commode room. Dual vanities. There I am. Like I said, I'm super casual today. Linen closet. And master walk-in closet. High ceilings in here. There's a window in here. It's actually pretty cool. And then it comes around over here. It's all tile in here throughout. Good sized room. House it seems really solid. I like the black handrails. Gives it a nice modern touch. The light fixtures have been updated and replaced. More modern light fixtures. Another closet here. We have bedroom number three, I'll call it. We have one downstairs, the master, and then this one. Let me show you the closet. It's the light on the carpet. Is that a stain? It's hard to tell if that's a stain or this from where they shampooed it. I think it's this from where it was shampooed and cleaned. All right, then. Oh, little window overlooking the living room. I can just imagine toys flying through that window. We are into the full third bath. Dual vanities, tile, bathtubs, mm -hmm. clean. That's not a chip, that's just a dead fly. And then into bedroom number four. Here's the carpet, or the carpet, the closet, I'm sorry. That's what I get for staring down and thinking carpet. All right, let me take the lock out of this door and I'll walk out onto the patio. There are stairs to get downstairs from up here. It's nice. Saw the deck, looks like it's in really good shape. 
we'll come back out and I'll get down in the backyard. You got the barbecue pit there. And yeah, looking off, you can see into everyone's backyard. Dyed the water blue in the pond. Neighbors got a pool over there. Yeah, roof looks good. They bolted the satellite right on top of the roof, which is annoying in my part because you can't remove it easily now. Because uh, you bolted it right through the shingles. All right, let's go downstairs and check out the backyard. Built-ins in the loft. Gonna scan the upstairs for you again. All right, Sixteen steps. So they're not not very steep. Not bad at all. We have a water chemistry set for the pond. Keep the chemical balance nice. Keep the water clean and pretty. Nice outdoor kitchen. It's like a brick veneer, like tile, painted wood. Really good shape. Pretty cool. Grass is so plush and green. I'd imagine that it uh, is definitely on a irrigation system back here. I haven't seen sprinkler heads yet, but just my assumption by how plush and green the grass is. There's the steps to get up onto the deck. Walk up onto the, the bridge. Closer look at the pond. And over to the storage shed. Nice solid deck on this. Solid floors. There's a air conditioner in here if you wanted to cool it down. Big doors that open on the side also. It's got obviously electricity for having the air conditioner. We get a pretty nice uh, workshop out here. So. All right, well, this is 217 Winter Frost, just back on the market. And, uh, it went fast the first time. I imagine it's going to go fast again. Um, I had to anticipate multiple offers on it. Um, I had a listing uh, not super far from here in, in Converse, which is right next to Cibolo, uh, last weekend that had... Um, 35 showings and 11 offers in three days. Um, so market is definitely still racing. Uh, and I would anticipate this house selling just as fast as it did the first time. So please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Talk to you all soon.